Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Um, today, what we're going to do is go over uh, charts again. Uh, we are actually moving forward in our uh, chart lectures. Uh, and what I wanted to check on or go deeper in today is um, the performance charts. There are a few charts in NAV that end with the name or with the word performance. Uh, they are called inventory performance, which I have up here, uh, sales performance and purchase performance. And so these charts are a little bit different than the other charts. They actually allow you to set up sort of like analysis view uh, to work with in this chart. So we can change it around. These are actually kind of cool, um, have a lot of features. And uh, what I want to do today is create a simple uh, chart for the inventory performance and sort of highlight what, how the sales performance and purchase performance is different than the inventory performance. So if I go in here and hit select chart, I get the default chart that I'm showing behind me, which has something to do with desks. Uh, we share our business with a furniture store and also some service depot. Uh, but what we do are coffee mugs, as everybody knows. And I would like to see um, the sales of coffee mugs and coffee beans uh, on a timeline. So I'm going to create that. Um, so I'll create an, if I, I clicked here into select chart, I get analysis report chart list up and I'm going to create a new one. Okay. So I hit just new, I get this up. I'm going to call this co uh, CM for coffee mug. And it asks me then to do an analysis report name and it has a list. And if I click into the list, I get a bunch of names here that somebody else created. Um, and I'm going to create a new analysis report uh, to attach to this uh, chart. So I'll just click new again here and it gives me the option to fill one in. I'm going to call that one coffee mug as well. And this is going to be like a few windows and I hope you don't get confused. But the idea behind this is that we have an analysis report which has lines and columns that we set up and we attach it to this chart. Uh, and then run the chart. Now, right now what I'm doing is creating an analysis report called coffee mug. Um, and then I get into this column here, which is asking me to set up the uh, lines. So which lines I want to have in my, um, in my chart. So if I click on that, I have also something that somebody else set up and I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it coffee mug as well. Call it uh, coffee mug lines. And here I can click on lines up here. And what that does, it allows me to bring in lines for the uh, chart that I'm creating. And I can bring in items or item groups right here. And it actually can be filtered on dimensions if you guys are using dimensions. Um, so I'm going to just call the first row here um, mugs. And those are coffee mugs because we also sell beans. So we have one for mugs. I'll keep it as item. I could have actually selected an item group or even a formula and that I'm not going to get into how that is, but you can have formula lists. I'll get into the range and I'll get a list of items. Now I'm going to find my coffee mugs, which I should have there in some 70,063. So I have two ones. I got the standard and the fall coffee mug. I can just select both of them like that, hit OK, and it brings, me, brings in the range. I also want to have beans coffee beans and I'll put in here the range and that is in 70,000 uh, 61, 62 Oops. 
I clicked on the card of accident. Let's go here. And that brings in that range. And now I actually just hit OK. Uh, and now I got the lines. Now I'm going to hit OK on that. And I got the line template in. Now I have to create a column template. This is what we want to see as columns. So I'll go in there and hit new again. I'm going to create my own, call it coffee mug. So I'm just going to have this, call it coffee mug analysis or quant sales quantities. And here in the quantities, uh, in the uh, analysis column, I click on columns. And I'm actually just going to put in one column called quantity. And I want to show the invoiced, um, let's see here, let's open it up a little bit. I want to show the invoiced item entries and I can actually look up here what they are. And there's these options come with NAV and you can actually set up more if you get deeper into this. But I'm gonna pick up sales quantity. I'm going to show it opposite because all sales quantities are negative on the item entries. So you get negative numbers if I don't click this show opposite. And it automatically puts a value type as quantity. So I'm just going to show the sales quantities for these two for now. Uh, notice that you can do a lot more. You can compare to other periods. You can put in a formula here between the columns. Uh, you can pick up cost. You can obviously put in profitability. Uh, a lot of options here. This is very flexible. But for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to put in the sales quantity. And I'll just hit OK and OK on that. So now I've created the analysis view template name, analysis line, and analysis column template name um, for my coffee mug analysis report. So I have lines, which are going to be the beans and the mugs, and I have the column, which is going to be the sales quantity. So I hit OK on that. And I'm back to the analysis report chart setup. And when I hit enter on this, it actually brings in the coffee mix quantity and coffee beans quantity as columns here. So it recognizes the column immediately. And if I hit OK on this, uh, and now I have a new one, and I select that for my report. Notice I get now the coffee mix quantity and coffee beans quantity. Uh, in the 25th uh, week. And I can see here that I have uh, 300 sold of coffee beans and 400 sold of coffee mugs. And I can see actually the day that I was sold at. I can move between periods like this. I can change the period length to be a month. So I can see this is in January, uh, etc. Now, this is very a very simple example of how to use the inventory performance. As you could see, you can set up many more columns. You can actually stack them. Uh, there are many options you can put in here. Um, and just to finish this up, how is this different? How is the inventory performance chart different from the sales performance and purchase performance? It's really not that different. The only difference um, and there might be more, but the sig most significant difference, if I go into this one here, for example, the sales performance, is the lines, which lines you can select to bring in. On the inventory performance, I could only select items or item groups. However, if I go into the sales performance, I can go into edit, and I go into, let's say, this analysis report, click on advanced, and I look at the line, here I have customer groups. Look, this is already pretty obvious. I can br bring in customers and customers group, customer groups. Um, I can also, in the sales analysis, bring in item and item groups and the salesperson. So the lines have more options than in the inventory performance. So this is technically a stronger chart. And for the vendor side, uh, in purchase performance, if I go back into that here, um, you can see vendors, same exact thing. Uh, if I go in here, go into edit, 
look at this one I think I created a quick test one go into the line and advanced and lines you know I have to drill a lot to get into this now you can see that the types that we can bring in are vendors uh, salespeople of course item groups and formulas uh, so you cannot bring the vendor on the sales performance you cannot bring the customer on the purchase performance and you can only bring items on the inventory performance so those are the that's the separator um, between these charts other than that they work pretty similar um, all around so I, I know this was a little bit convoluted in the screens but if you start from the chart and do like I do like new new and drill out it makes more sense uh, you could also find these forms in the setups in the Navy uh, and I hope uh, I shed some light on these performance uh, charts thanks for taking the time to watch this video as always, we welcome any questions or suggestions, um, so leave comments, or of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta, and uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.